Hey Biscuits, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. If you're new here, today we're going to be reacting to Nuke's Top 5 Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos to Give You Pit Stains. Good thing I'm wearing a sweater so you wouldn't even see if that was true. So before we get started, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social so we can become friends. Let me know any other reactions you want me to do down below. Also, if you have any scary stories you want me to share, leave them down below. If you have your own scary videos you want me to react to, leave them down below. And without further ado, let's just get started because it's a long haul. Ten ghosts caught on camera. It's Something been so in the long sewer. since I've reacted to now this. this strange video scared. was recorded for educational purposes by the Athens, Georgia Public Utilities Department. The clips were actually filmed as an educational video for kids to show children what you can and can't flush down a toilet. The footage shows a robotic camera being guided through a long sewer system. Oh no! Everything already... appears normal until the camera approaches something very strange in the dark water. Oh no, I didn't want to see you already. Why you ever... Something that almost looks like a small headless pale torso appears to be disturbed by the camera and a creepy looking hand seems to reach out and attempt to grab at the lens. Mm -mm. Now, I no, have Marty no over this. idea what this is. And neither Marty does anyone this. at the Athens in. Public Utilities Department. They claim the footage is still under investigation. There's so a headless now, person in the sewer reaching up a to a camera. And total mystery. The rivers are the there, by the way, not to stop Queen Mary. Paranormal oh. investigator and author Brandon mm -hmm. Alvis, who some of you might know from the popular TV series Ghost Hunters, has dedicated many years of his life to researching and recording the paranormal. But even for Brandon, there is one investigation that stands out as particularly creepy. And that is the investigation of the historic RMS Queen Mary. I want to go to Queen The RMS Mary Queen Mary sailed the North Atlantic Ocean from 1936 to 1967, serving as both a cruise ship and even an allied troop ship during World War II. The ship has seen its fair share of tragic deaths. One of them being that of a little girl who drowned in the ship's swimming pool. Many visitors and employees claim that the ship's so swimming pool area is very Queen haunted. Go. And some even say that they've seen the spirits of both women and children dressed in 1930s style swimsuits. While investigating the swimming pool area, Brandon and a fellow investigator both hear something disturbing. Ew, that's very angry. And it's echoing so you can tell it's coming from there. No way. An unknown voice yells out from somewhere nearby. Oh, it don't need to be boosted. I heard it the first time. But that's not all that Brendan captured on the RMS Queen Mary. Now, Brendan is completely alone except for one other investigator and a security guard. The pool is empty and is no longer in use, and the area is off limits to all other guests. So what happens next is truly chilling. Oh! Did you see it? Yeah, I Someone saw it. I got chills, okay? something can be seen in one of the swimming pool changing stalls. Oof. The chilling figure appears to have glowing eyes as it watches the small group from the shadows. Brandon says that they did not see anything at the time of the recording. Hmm. So just who or what Weird. is lurking in the dark? Let me know what you think. You can read about Brandon Alvis' spooky like experiences while in investigating haunted places in his new book, Elements of a Haunting. Cradle Creeper. Oh no. Proud parents Kaylee and Stewart have a TikTok account dedicated to their newborn daughter, Ren May. The account usually chronicles happy experiences from the young family's life. So when this next video was posted, their viewers were shocked. 
Why are they gonna mess with babies? Oh, gross. No. No, 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 no. Night vision cameras first capture a bizarre unexplained shadow in the upper left corner of the room. I didn't even then see that at first. Then what seems like a creepy little hand can be yeah, seen clawing at little disgusting. Rin May's crib mattress. The newborn sleeps right through it, but Dad Stewart hears the noise and wakes up. Oh, and just no. as Stewart looks over at the crib, the hand quickly disappears out of sight. That is so Parents gross, Kaylee even and if that's fake. Are very I don't know how you would fake that, but... And say that they have no idea what they captured on camera. Haunted by the past. Paranormal investigator Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown is joined by his friend Tony as they set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Knowlton Church in Dorset, England. The ancient church has been left in ruins, sitting in an empty field. However, this wasn't always the case. Over 500 years ago, the church was surrounded by a thriving English village. Then, tragedy struck. In the year 1485, all of the village's inhabitants, men, women, and children, were struck down by the sickness of the bubonic plague, aka Jeez. the Black Death. No one in the village survived. The old crumbling church is said to be forever haunted by their spirits. So cut back to modern times, and in the dark of night, the two investigator team hunting the unknown explored the old Knowlton church. They get a few responses from their spirit box and their motion activated lights are triggered a few times, but nothing too dramatic. That is, except for when they start to explore with their thermal camera. What they catch is shocking. How do you so guys, I'm trying something so new, but we've got a, a thermal camera attached to my phone. We're gonna try and turn it on and see if we can try and like see anything on camera. The balls are still going up here, so we're going to try and aim it in this direction and see if we can get it. So let's get into that. What the fuck? Oh, f***! What? Oh, man. What the f***? We just caught. What? Susan, it's a cat balls on a rock. Susan, so there's no way. What the f***? Ew. It's like someone oh, dancing around. No way. Literally just there, mate. There we go. It's there. Whatever it is, it's there, bro. Mate. Mate, that's a, that's a person. Look, it's like a kid. Runs off. Over there, behind that. Yeah. Like here. Over in the corner. <laughs> it runs off here. Yeah, yeah. And it goes like that. Into here, doesn't it? Yeah. What the f Come on. Wow. A childlike figure can be seen running past Alex and then disappearing right into a solid stone wall. Really, the investigators the are shocked by their capture of what appears to be a child spirit running around in the church. So could this be the ghost of a little boy or girl who was one of the tragic victims of the plague so many centuries ago? Let That's me know your crazy. thoughts it's in the middle of nowhere. down below. That's cool. The Newburn Haunting. Sam Aldridge, his wife, and two young children live in a beautiful home in Newburn, North Carolina that was See, built in these, the late 1950s. If it's like messing with kids, there's no spacious, way a parent would Sam be able to do that and just be like, is oh, for not views. Good. One of the previous owners passed away in the upstairs master bedroom, and the remains of two unidentified individuals were found buried in the backyard. Cause of death, unknown. Are you kidding Sam me? and his wife have both witnessed creepy unexplained activity in the house and they believe their home might be haunted. Even their family dog Loki seems very disturbed by what's going on. See, you can't he has no make a dog shot collar, no shot collar at all. In fact, I'm that. gonna go ahead and take this off. 
just so you all know that there's nothing there. Come on, bud. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's a cool looking house. Oh, I posted it. He's gonna fucking run and leave me up here like a douchebag. <laughs> See? Straight up. Sam says that not only does the house have an odd history, but an odd layout as well. That's a cool In house. There is a strange door upstairs that seems to lead nowhere and has no stairs leading up to it. In a video, as Sam explains where the door is located, he captures something downright creepy. You can kind of see just how high up that door actually is if you're on the bottom floor. Uh, yeah, you're looking at 10 plus 8, so you're looking at least 18 mm -hmm. feet from your feet coming down. Why the f A strange shadow figure can be seen and two different voices can be heard seemingly speaking See, to in Sam. a video like that, why would bottom you be floor, faking? Bottom floor, bottom floor. Why the f why are you faking? Sam just has no idea what he just you? captured and simply explains that the area behind the door is attic storage space. So, one night, and he's going to be a really good video editor because Sam didn't look fake. House. He hits record on his phone and goes to investigate. And that's when he sees something that shocks him to his core. No, I'm over it. Looks like creepy, glowing, wide set eyes seem to appear out of the darkness, peering at Sam as he stares back in terror. Whatever it is, then just seems to disappear. And that's not all that Sam has captured inside his haunted home. The creepy activity even starts to occur in the middle of the day. The heck? Dinner. A loud sound startles Sam, and when he turns around, a white translucent figure appears to push a rocking horse, causing it to rock slowly back and forth. Now, with all this collected and highly disturbing footage, mm -mm. of course, Sam's TikTok following is undecided on whether to believe his story or just write it off as another elaborate TikTok hoax. Those so eyes are weird. I don't know how he would have done that. Or just that white one kind of looked fake. Editing. As always, I leave that up to you to decide. The Village of Shadows. Oh, Japanese that's paranormal not YouTuber Takachi Camera travels to a creepy abandoned village somewhere in the mountains of Japan. Over the years, many curious visitors to the old deserted village have claimed to experience terrifying paranormal that's my dog activity. Back there. So the YouTuber decides to see for himself if the ghost stories are true. Takuchi goes inside one of the few remaining homes in the village to start his investigation. Bro, you can't be creepy like that. But no sooner than he gets all of his camera equipment set up, he starts to hear strange footsteps just outside the building. Wait, 
多分一人じゃないマジあおえよ囲まれてるこれどうなのえちょっと待ってどう静か静か静か静か静か,静かちょっと待って気合い消して完全に気合い消すOh, that's gross. That looked like an actual person should be there. <laughs> the Kuchi watches in horror as someone seems to be walking around his equipment just outside the abandoned home. Fearing the worst, the Kuchi believes that there might be squatters or other people roaming around the abandoned village. He decides that the situation is just too unsafe. And decides to leave. Now, as if that wasn't creepy enough, the Kuchi has no idea that this isn't the only spooky event that he recorded that night. Later, he's checking back over his footage and he notices that as he was recording his video intro, he caught something absolutely chilling. <laughs> いやいやいやいやちょっと待って足音めっちゃ聞こえるって There's gonna be some in the window anyway ウソやろちょちょちょっと待っていやあかんそうそうそうかえー、皆様お久しぶりでございます今日はですねとある配送に来ているんですけれども僕の動画を見ていただいている方の中には幽霊の存在を信じてない方も多いかと思います僕もですね今までいろんな心霊スポットに行ってとても危険な目に遭ってきましたですが幽霊の存在を 100% 信じてるわけではありませんなので今日もですねいろんな取れ高アイテムを持ってきましたのでそれを使って幽霊の存在を証明していきたいと思います。来てるな Oh, ew. Ew, that's creepy. It's the like Kuchi hunched is completely over. unaware that just behind him, a bizarre shadow like figure is slowly approaching. Oh, that's disgusting. So it it's like creeping up at him. Is this one just of walking. the spirits that previous visitors claim to have seen? Or just what is this? Let me know what you think. Ew, it looks like a werewolf. A werewolf of the dark. Oh, God. No, the following no, footage Fire, was shared like to Reddit by a concerned father who believes that his family might be dealing with an evil presence inside their home. He says that they've all seen and heard things in their house that they can't explain. So, late one night, the static camera in their kitchen captures this eerie sound. So I'm saying, tell me they heard that at least. This bizarre high pitched sound was heard at 3 25 in the morning. Now, Reddit users are quick to write it off as either cars outside or the screeching of old plumbing. But the man who posted the video is not so convinced. Later, the worried father shares another video captured by his security Why camera. Why would they be worried the about this? They heard it all the time. Because if it was tight or something, you would hear it all the time. Oh 
The young girl is woken up when her radio chills. suddenly turns on. The girl then claims that she saw a shadowy figure just standing in her room. She lets out a mm -mm. piercing scream as she jumps from her bed and runs to her parents' bedroom. Her parents rush to her room to check it out, but they don't find anything. So what do you think is going on here? Is this just a child's overactive imagination or oh, a really? nightmare? I heard the or thing turned on. could the girl actually have seen a scary shadow figure standing in her bedroom? Either way, I believe that one thing is certain, and that is that her terrified reaction is in no way fake or staged. Seriously, and but there's no way their parents are so rude that they would never scare nightmare. them for views. These next creepy videos were recorded by Kathy Gallinger from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmares. I originally featured Kathy years ago after she began to experience unexplained activity in her home in Canada. Oh, I remember okay, this. Hey guys, so I came in my room, heard a noise in the closet again. Closet's open. The dog hasn't left. Let's see what you hear. Now see, that is creepy. Cause first off, oh. What the f now, If someone was the there, they would be able to either open it or shut it, not do both Lucy, at the same time. But also her cat Salem and Stormy as well. Out. Stormy violently hisses at something that we can't see and then jumps onto the kitchen counter to hide. Now, maybe this footage can simply be explained away as a cat just being weird. But this next clip cats is are a weird, lot but harder that to looks explain. Like it got scared. And this time it's Kathy's other cat, Salem, that is caught in a quote, paranormal nightmare. Not the creepy doll. See, how do you get a cat Salem to do that? Salem appears to be spooked and is keeping a close eye on an old doll. Then an ominous dark cloud of smoke appears out of thin air, frightening the cat and sending and it it's like a away in fear. Security camera. Kathy how do you edit a, a security camera to look real? Have spirits attached to them. She thinks that these spirits might be causing the terrifying activity in her home. But what do you think? I, I highly think it's recommend creepy checking out Kathy's YouTube channel, scare Paranormal animals. Nightmares, where she shares the many captures of supernatural activity in her home, lurking outside. No. TikTok user Bruno5M claims that he and his family often see strange things around their farm in Tucumán, Argentina including the mysterious figure of a young girl dressed all in black, roaming the countryside. One night, without the family knowing, Bruno's young sister sees something outside her window, moving around in the dark. Inexplicably, she sneaks out to record all on her own. And needless to say, it did not go well. Hola chicos, estoy grabando este video porque mi papá y mi mamá se fueron a comprar una cosa en el almacén really, mi that's hermano, a little kid, why are you leaving her there? Seban está en la pieza, pero yo sentí lo alojado por acá No sé qué está pasando, pero quiero tratar de grabar Miren eso the girl's brother says that he oh. and his family are shocked that the young girl went outside to oh. film on her own. He says that she is doing fine, but is still a bit shaken up by the strange encounter. Its eyes are glowing. So what do you think this creepy figure with glowing Ooh. eyes could be? 
How do you not believe not. a little girl like that? I'll leave it to you to decide. Run. Oh, YouTube okay. user Adam Lowen and two of his friends are exploring an allegedly haunted house in Portland, Oregon. He says that he has heard strange unexplained noises there in the middle of the night and has even seen things moving around in the dark. They plan to record proof of what Adam believes to be paranormal phenomenon. It did not go well. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. No, but seriously, dude, if you die, I have to go home, and that's not very fun. No, that's hilarious. They locked it. What the f? They used to. I'm not locked, dude. Check it out. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Say that again. Dude, somebody's telling them to live down here. All right, wait. Where? Okay. Over here. So what are you doing? Is it on? Yeah, what's going on? All right. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Nicole, I think you should go. Nicole, you should gather. Dude, there's spider clips going. All right, he's gonna chase them. Something. He's gonna chase them. Afraid of spiders. Dude, come on. What? All right, I'll go. All right, let me get some footing here. It's gonna hurt. shapeless apparition scares the out of them as it screeches out of a doorway and the three friends run out of the house in abject That's terror. That's a little weird. Now this original video was uploaded way oh, back dear, in 2008 but to this day Adam says that he has no explanation for what happened that night. See? Adam's never posted another paranormal video 14 years channel. ago? He says that since Were people that night, faking he has stuff stayed like this away back then? from the paranormal and has just dedicated his channel to his love for music and video games. So is it real, or is it all just a fourteen-year-old elaborate hoax? But I leave it up to you. It looks to a little weird. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for watching. So let me know your thoughts on that. Which ones were the scariest to you? The scariest to me were the obviously the one with the little baby, the number eight cradle creeper. That's a terrifying name, also. And the one that the guy was just doing house tours. Um, with a door really high up. Number six. Those are the creepiest ones to me. Let me know which ones were creepiest to you down below. Like I said, leave any other video suggestions or creepy stories you want me to share down there also. And make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.